Hi everybody, this is Carmen with Main Street Yoga. I um, was deciding what video to do and um, I thought maybe doing some basic uh, breathing techniques in regards to movement would be helpful. That's probably uh, a question I get uh, pretty often for students who are beginning, who are trying to figure out when to breathe while they move. So the best way to start and I always say this, when in doubt, breathe. If you're not sure, just just breathe. So, so don't worry about doing it right or wrong in the beginning as you're kind of getting to know the cadence of the teacher, the style of the class, uh, getting more familiar with the postures. In the beginning, it's just important to remember to breathe. And your teacher is likely going to remind you regularly are you breathing? Did you forget to breath? breathe? Don't forget to hold your breath or don't forget not to hold your breath. Uh, things like that. So uh, that's what we're here for. Um, but when you're trying to sort it out on your own, it's helpful to consider uh, the space in the diaphragm now uh, or the space in the torso. So your diaphragm sits just below your ribs, but you have a second diaphragm and it's your pelvic floor. And when you have those lined up, so when we slouch, we kind of bring those into compression. So the diaphragm or the, the space for breath kind of looks a little more like a jelly bean. Um, um, when we're neutral, it looks almost like an upside down egg where there's the narrow end at the bottom and the wider end at the top. Um, if we arch our back, it, the jelly bean starts to be created again. So best practice is to start with the diaphragms resting over each other. So holding posture. And you can always use a mirror to reference this. And then when your diaphragms are above each other, above, above and below and in line, what they're going to do is they're going to give you the most space for a breath. Once you have yourself in line, consider how when you're back in, we're going to call this neutral, when you're back in neutral, you have the most space to breathe. Your, uh, your container has a lot more room to move. When you compress your body, let's say you're going into a forward fold, let's say you're leaning over to one side, let's say you're even going into a back bend, which is compressing the back and stretching out the front of the body. Those are all great opportunities for an exhale. It's easier to exhale and compress this space than it is to inhale here. So what we want to start with is we want to start with inhaling when we have the space to inhale and exhale when we lose the space to inhale. And so that includes inhaling coming through center, exhale going to one side, inhaling coming through center, exhale going into a back bend, inhale coming back into center, exhale going into rotation. So all those can be great little 